The police operation surrounding today's events was one of the UK's biggest ever, and Scotland Yard has been criticised over the arrest of a number of protesters hours before the coronation took place. <coughs> Excuse me, members of the Republic Group were detained close to Trafalgar Square at seven o'clock this morning. There were 52 arrests. Is our global security editor Rohit Kanchari? There was another procession along the Mall this morning. The protesters marched away to the beat of the drum before the king had even left for the abbey. We were arrested for having t-shirts and flags, she says. Just stop oil and anti-monarchy protesters were among those detained. I'll defend your right to celebrate, you defend our right to protest. But some campaigners said the police were heavy-handed. The right to protest is a fundamental human right, and it's outrageous that the police have arrested the CEO of the campaign group Republic, confiscated all the placards, and then erected these gigantic barriers in front of the protest to stop us being seen. Officers have been given new powers this week to police protests, and they've said they'd have low tolerance for disruptive behavior. With many officers wearing traditional hats in the drizzling rain, this looks in places like a ceremonial operation, but Scotland Yard have said it is much more than that. But one human rights group said the police's behavior today was like something seen in Moscow. They're accused tonight of overreaching. We all have the right to go out and protest and we should keep doing that. And actually it's the government's duty to facilitate that and provide the landscape for our rights being upheld instead of taking them away as we've seen this week and as we've seen today. The commissioner of the Metropolitan Police said tonight that the force is proud to have led the largest policing operation in decades, adding, God save the king. Rohit Katru, ITV News at Buckingham Palace.